better off dead Everything you said, running through my head I'm on my own again, lost another friend Crush another bend, this is how it ends I'm on my own again, I'm lonely What's up guys, it's your boy, you're over here back in the other video And today I'm gonna teach you some tips and tricks of how to get your points up in arena and how to play arena. That's what I love. So, basically, you want to take heat into this because, as you can see by my points, I've been actually taking my time and everything and taking it slow. Now, if you're an aggressive type of person, this is this is the video for you. Even though this is going to also be like some laid back stuff, if you're aggressive like me, then hey, it's going to be hard because it was hard for me, but you know, you're used to it. So, number one. It's to go for placement. Alright? I cannot stress that enough. Placement gets you more points. Yeah. Yeah. I'm one of those type of people too. But like. It's better to be aggressive. And get more points. Because you get a lot of kills. Yeah. That is overall true. But if you think about it. You're getting more points. In placement. And most of your, and most of your point. Basically most of your points come from placement. And some of your points come from kills. If you think about it. You ain't going to see that many people. Because people die too much. Too fast. Or you just ain't gonna see nobody out because they're gonna be camping or boxing up or playing it for placement. So, what you want to do is just always go for placement, land with nobody lands, and land at low key spots, or land at places that don't have a name at it, like factories, not OG factories, but you know, the factories that's covering the snow. Land at that place, um, there's other locations I forgot. But yeah, you can land at those locations. Oh yeah, the solar houses by Happy Hamlet. Land at those houses or whatever. So, you always want to land at that. Number two, take your time and play at a good game speed. Play, play at your, you know, your game speed. Pace yourself. Because sometimes when you, whenever you get up and addy and you just like, oh, I'm going to push everybody I see. And that doesn't work out for you. Play it safe. If you play safe or stuff for you and taking it slow, do that for you because <clears throat> because if you play at your game speed, then it's going to be okay because you're playing at your game speed and you gain more points. My game speed is always fast and going aggressive, but at the same time, it's a little bit passive. So that's what works out for me, and that's why I get my points up so fast. Because I remember I went from 2,100. Listen to this. 2,151 points to 1,200 something points, and now I'm sitting oh, currently sitting at 2,320. Like, it's, it's probably different from this five. video because you know I got more points, and it's probably, but yeah, I played at my game since, which was very good for me. I don't know if it was for you for playing fast and aggressive. But at the same time, I was passive. I wasn't like like that because in regular posts, I push everybody that I see. I do even do that in arena, but I also, you know, kind of push back a little bit. Now, number three on the list. Always know what your opponent is going to do. Because say if somebody's, you're pushing somebody or somebody's pushing you, right, in arena. If you don't know what they're doing, then you're basically screwed. They're going to... Arena is basically about mind game, strategy, and Get everything, it up, and it's also about box fights. Okay. You always want to outplay your opponents, all right? Outplay your opponents, and always guess what your opponent's going to do. Always be a one step ahead of your freaking um, no, opponent. No, be like Akashi with the no, Shargon or Sasuke. That might sound lame, but like, who, you know, they always guess the opponent's movement because, you know, that's how I'm going to But like, that's not the point. The point is, always guess what your opponent is going and also know what they're going to do. Be one step ahead. Now bring up a number four. Like I said, box fighting. Box fighting is has to be like one of the best medals because it takes a lot of strategy to use. If you don't have a strategy in box fighting, you're basically dead. Because somebody can just easily take your wall, run it to you with zero pain, blah, blah, blah. Take your wall. Bam. Your wall is done. All right? Always think of a game plan in box fighting. Because if they take your wall... And you're trying to like, as soon as they go, you, they're going to guess like you're, you know, waiting for the window edit. So what they're going to do is edit the window and push the stair above you. And then they're just going to edit the stair to where you're visible and get an easy shot off of you. And then they're going to pump you and SMG you. So, basically, if they do that to you, you're basically screwed, alright? Always have a, a plan. Somebody takes your wall, this is what I do. 
If they put a stair above me, I'll quickly edit out, go to a different box. And if they try to my wall, I'll quickly edit window and back, or I just edit like a Dorito edit, which is the call the side, whatever. I call it like a Dorito edit, because it looks like, you know, Dorito. So, I made that, I made that edit. And let's see, you know, I, I get an easy pump shot off, then they run away, launch pad, <clears throat> or they get into a box. So, another way you can, um, dot somebody from, you know, how to count a turtle in a box oh fight is God. to push a stair or a it cone in front of the wall and edit what you want to do is like you know edit the cone like one way i'm going to tell you how to all the ways how to count it right so one way is to you know like i said of a stair or a cone the stair just push the stair above it and you, you know just try to break the wall if that doesn't work push the stair above you and then they sh you're like jumping up so the ramp can you know kind of push you forward and once you get in somebody's box you can easily pump SMG but a pyramid you can edit the pyramid one way however you like it to the right or the left what you want to do you want to do that and let's see you know edit that once you edit that you you can hit the floor the pyramid and, oh and the two walls Don't of the opponents so that's basically another way to counter him because the boss fight is basically throwing people off guard and everything now another reason what is that number three number four what's number four this is probably the one of the mistakes i mostly see people do they sit in a box and hold, hold turbo building that's not gonna work out because What's the what you gonna do if someone has zero ping and everything? What you wanna always have a strategy, all right? Hover to 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 the building. Sorry, I'm stuttering a lot. To the building and make sure you have a strategy, all right? Don't just be one of those kids that's holding to the build, all right? Because if you're to the building, someone's just easily gonna outplay you, right? Someone's just easily gonna outplay you and then you're dead, all right? That's another, that's number four. But I know it's a short reason, yeah. Number five, if somebody spam your wall, you want a turbo build. I know I said don't turbo build, but at the same time, you want to kind of turbo build, especially if somebody got a minigun. If somebody got a mech, you're dead. G say GG's unless you get in a mech, and so it's self-destructed, or you can just, like, shoot it, and then, you know, explode it. But, I don't know what, what I was saying is that you want to hold turbo build, especially against spammers. Now, all you can do is edit the window because the one they, they're going to too busy spraying, and the window edit is pretty no, much predictable, predictable now. But uh, if you were to make the window edit, if somebody's like spamming mad hard at you, they ain't gonna expect it. That's an easy one tap with a pump, 200 to the head, whatever whatever damage you get in AK, all right. Now, the reason why I say that is because. Like I just said, they're going to spam as you matter hard, they're going to be caught up when we make the window edit, and then BAM! Because it happened to me a lot when I get spammed too much, trying to get the kill. Now, another way how to dodge that is to, you know, what's it called? When they spin the wall, go, let them spin the wall out, and, you know, when they spin the wall out, make sure you go to, like, you move in like your face is against the wall so you can move out of it so when they break it they're gonna be going to your boss you can push one in front of them and make this the other the Dorito edit or the window edit pump them and then BAM you got the dub or whatever or you just killed them and just outsmart them like I said you wanna let somebody spam your wall out like literally spam your wall out and then once the wall is gone you want to make sure your character like face is like facing towards the wall. So when they spin the wall and the wall is not there no more, they you can go to the other side. They go in your box. You can play. You can you know place a wall in front of them, and you can place like a, make a window edit and make like put a trap above them on the floor, whatever. And bam, that's the easy, easy kill right there. Now, bringing number six on my list is to land. Oh no, I already said that. My fault. My fault. My guy, it's my fault. But yeah, also know you like, like I said, that brings me kind of, now that I think about it, that kind of brings me back to number one, about like, you know, landing at low key spots. Um, always know like your chest spawns and your way to get out of certain situations because I always land at f factories like the snow ones and I know all the, all the chest routes and all the escapes, um, like, you know, escape routes and I moved to lucky landing because, you know, Booga land there and then also uh, lucky landing is where I got like my like three dubs four dubs in a row with my 
my like you know friends and squads so i'm like mm, i'll go here i guess so i i will always go to the like the house like boogle lands at and and i'll know the chest spawns is like you always want to know your chest spawns and your skip routes because you can go into like a house and you know get the chests or whatever or if you need to escape because someone's in your house you know you can go at the back door or whatever is your escape route just keep going like in probably creative like his creative has like a real like an actual map not like creative maps or like playground or just go on like team rumble or whatever and just keep going to that like go to that house or whatever leave the match or like keep going to the same place in different matches to know the different location spawns and everything and everything and once you got that down you're good to go and it's just gg for all the other players because they they're probably gonna that's probably gonna be their first time landing at the spot you're at and then once you're like low hp and they're gonna try to chase you or whatever you already know the escape route you can just escape and leave that place and find some meds or just like come out of nowhere and just like pump them in the head attack them whatever and kill them and then they're just looking dumbfounded or confused or just like stupid because you knew all the escape routes you knew the, all the chest routes and everything because you landed there repeatedly now another thing on my list is basically this is basically just play you don't play like nobody else play like yourself and then you're all good in the grave right you have to worry about nothing but like, oh how come Faceway did this or Booga did this no over there and go shot go sex whatever whoever's your favorite funny how, how, did, how, how did he do this or whatever I don't understand don't do that all right just be yourself when you play like yourself you play better than you probably you play like yourself and you be good to like their level you're probably gonna be way 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 better than it. and as you can see I swing my pickaxe don't just matter I like the sound of my pickaxe all right now like I said play like you and you don't have to worry about it now you can now as you can see this is the gameplay these are the like the two gameplays i got you know solo dub now you can look at it and try to copy take new notes and take notes from like you know what i just said and everything and um i see y'all guys later and uh, enjoy the gameplay
turn this shit up Turn this shit up
knock down all the pins at once. Now that would be cool. momentum to knock down all the pins at once. Now that would be cool.